Hey, what's up everybody? Today we're gonna to be looking at uh, my initial review and feedback on uh, user testing. Uh, we're gonna be going through a sign-up process. They got a pretty thorough sign-up process. Once you sign up, you're gonna to have to take initial screening tests. And only if you pass on the screening test, you get to create an account and uh, get to be a paid tester. Um, what I'm gonna do right now is uh, create a fake account for you guys in front of the, for the video. Um, and uh, take the screening test so you can see which, what to do and what not to do to uh, better uh, increase your chances to be a paid tester. Um, and the next thing is I'm going to walk through their website and walk through the, the tests that are available. Um, their tests are about $4 test, $10 test, uh, $60 test, $90 test, and $120 test. Uh, I'm going to show you guys what are the pitfalls, uh, what are the uh, issues you might come across and a technical issue that cost me ten dollars of not being paid for one of the tests I took um, and lastly go through the time spent and money made um, so far so I'm not gonna wait to make you guys wait for our entire video so let's just get into the time spent so far I've spent about five hours uh, 30 minutes to sign up uh, normally the time takes about 15 to 20 minutes However, I was uh, careless of the first time I took the, the screening test and I failed. <laughs> um, so I had to take it again in second attempt, so that was 30 minutes. Um, and I spent about 3.5 hours screening test questions. Um, this is actually one of the biggest hurdles when it comes to user testing um, that I'll be talking through in the walkthrough of the website and test. And finally, I spent about 60 minutes of uh, taking the actual test, which is somewhere between 10 to 13 minutes each, uh, roughly. And uh, overall, I made about $50. I got paid for already two of the tests, and then yet to be fair, paid for three of them. Uh, you get paid seven days after the test is accepted, straight to your PayPal account. Uh, one of them was voided. Um, I'm gonna talk about it in the walkthrough uh, part of this video. Uh, so let's get started with the sign-up process. Hey, what's up guys? So uh, if you're new to user testing uh, and you haven't worked with them or uh, know what it is, user testing basically is a platform for uh, um, companies, uh, entrepreneurs, startups to um, uh, get an honest feedback from actual people uh, about the products they're building or platform they're building or websites they're building or any kind of uh, apps they're building or something like that uh, basically they would hire user testing and then uh, user testing would hire people like ourselves uh, and uh, they give you a sort of a opportunity to give honest feedback uh, to these companies so they can better their product uh, and make it more viable uh, for whatever purpose they're doing it for um, so that being said uh, if you're not actually hiring user testing and you want to just uh, make some extra cash on the side um, the downside, uh, there, there are no downsides actually. The upside here is if you have some free time, uh, give, you give it honest feedback um, and um, you get paid for it. Um, so if you're brand new, let's get started. Uh, I've already went ahead and created an account, uh, however, and also taken a few more um, um, tests and, uh, and so in order for you to be a paid tester, uh, you need to have two things. One, you need to have a working email. Uh, two, you need to um, go through their screening uh, tests at the beginning. So they want to make sure uh, you follow instructions. Uh, you actually um, have a pretty decent um, equipment and can talk uh, and articulate your words properly. Um, so that's what they're looking for before they set you in. Uh, so what we're going to do first is uh, create an account. Uh, I'm going to walk you through from the beginning um, with the new account that I'm going to create right now and walk you through their screening process so you can understand what's going on. And then after that, we're going to jump into the walkthrough of uh, once you're qualified um, as a tester and what you, what you can expect and what comes after it. Um, so let's go to get paid. Uh, on top right over here to test once you're here you're gonna give him um, an email address I'm just gonna use a dummy, a dummy email address right now um, so, so get started they're gonna send you work okay took a few seconds but here we are okay so you're gonna click complete your application so it takes you to this page um, once you're in this page, you can go through the 
um, their introduction video, know what they're expecting, uh, whatnot, and the walkthrough process of this one. I've already gone through it once, so I'm just going to skip it for now. Uh, they're going to ask you to take a practice test. Um, so, you know, go through the video because they're going to give you clear instructions where you have to speak out your thoughts out loud, uh, have a smooth walk, walk through, uh, make sure everything's good to go from there. So I'm going to start my test. Um, so this test is, you know, tips for success, blah, blah, blah. I would recommend going through this as well if you're doing it for the first time. Um, so next, uh, it's going to say, ask you to share. Here you're going to say share access. Um, sure. I love it for now. Sure. Um, so I'm just going to say, just, uh, do the user testing screen. I love it. Okay. So it's capturing my screen right now. Um, then next, well, really I'm ready to think out loud next. Um, make sure, you know, you have two tabs open. Uh, so for the test to work properly, um, that's good. And then you start recording. And as soon as you click start recording, um, their app is actually recording it right now. Um, so this scenario, read through it. Basically, they want you to speak out loud, um, follow the instruction properly as a customer. Um, so before you before you begin each step up uh, to read the instructions properly uh, and whatnot. Um, so I'm going to open the test. So it takes you to this page. Here is a little bit confusing about this. And uh, you might think this is a test. Um, but the reality is you need to go back over here to this tab um, because the instructions are over here. So it was a little bit confusing for my, uh, myself and uh, quite a few people um, when they took this test. Um, so scenario number one, they're saying for this practice test, they want to know how well you speak, how well you follow the instructions, uh, whatnot. So you're going to click the next. Um, so task one, when you consider you sign up for it, you agree to user terms, condition, finds or code of conduct and review the important points to remember. Um, so explain why it is important not to copy or take screenshots during a customer test. So what you're going to do here is you're going to go to their customer support center. Um, just the way I'm speaking in this video, you're going to go here. Uh, you're going to look for code of conduct stuff. Um, you know, read through it and then, you know, just uh, narrate what you're doing to them while the whole thing is being recorded uh, so they can understand that what you're doing. Um, here are some of the important points. Uh, your accounts, you have to be 18 and older, accurate and up to date for information. Um, only create one account, not allowed to anyone else to use the account. Uh, obviously, you know, uh, not conduct any tests while traveling outside the country. Uh, on the profile, whichever country you're in, um, and then testing pretty much straightforward answers, you know, answer screener questions, honestly, uh, not communicate directly with the customer or whoever it is for soliciting outside the work, uh, feedback recorder appropriate for display. Um, you know, there should not be any obscene, inappropriate offensive language, just straightforward. You will be able to webcam display and whatnot, um, and not copy and screenshot of any part of test. Keep all the information confidential. Um, so now that you read through their code of conduct, um, come back and explain this question, which is explain why it is important not to copy the, or take the screenshot during a customer test. Um, in your own words, uh, make sure you explain what you read through that question uh, or that page on their code of conduct. Uh, come back here and take care of it. Um, and then once you've done and you felt like you've uh, given a pretty good uh, explanation about their code of conduct and explain this question, next go to the next point. Um, same case scenario, they're asking for you to, about their privacy, uh, about the personal information, your personal information, uh, accept or decline, um, find articles to discuss privacy, whatnot. So you go back to your, their original page, look for privacy and payments, which is pretty much that or uh, protection of your privacy while testing, read through this thing, um, read it out loud. Don't just read it in your head, read it out loud so they can, you know, um, understand your walkthrough process. Um, make sure all of this is read through. And once you read through all of this information, uh, you're going to come back here again, say what you feel and think as you, you know, final. So basically you're they're they're making you read these and then understand that, you know, all the policies and legal issues that come with it. 
uh, and you understand what is going on with your uh, you know, information and whatnot. So you come back, um, task three, which are the following, if it's never safe to share, um, pick your answer. I'm not gonna pick it for you because it's unethical at that point. Um, so make sure you do your homework from that page. Pick your answer. Once you pick answer, um, I'm just gonna randomly pick one here, uh, which might not be right or which might be right. So any final thoughts? Um, obviously you're gonna, you know, explain your final thoughts on the test um, and what you, what you did, recap it uh, about the code of conduct, about privacy, about the questions you had in your mind or how the page was and what was confusing about the page um, and then whatever scenario may be, um, explain to them and then you're gonna, if you do it right, this test should take you about roughly 10 to 20 minutes. Um, that should be the sweet spot you should be looking for. Uh, and then once you're done, you're just gonna say stop recording and that'll take the test back to them. It'll say something along the lines of, hey, um, so-and-so uh, did the test, we'll get back to you in a few days. So I'm not gonna obviously uh, continue this test and then uh, submit a fake test. Um, so I'm just gonna close it for now. Okay, so what happens if you fail your test? They're gonna give you a second chance. At least that's been my experience. You'll get the first email on the left-hand side, uh, which basically says it's being processed. Second email basically says, retry your practice test. Um, and from there on out, you're just gonna give it a shot. Um, once you're accepted, um, what you're gonna get is this email, which basically says you've been accepted, blah, 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 and then you can start testing. So we're gonna walk you, walk you through that process of, uh, um your dashboard and all that testing process now hey what's up everybody so uh when you first log into user testing you're gonna see some uh, your screen's gonna look something along this lines uh let me refresh it really quick it's gonna show that there's no test blah 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 um and uh once it loads it's gonna show you how many tests you're gonna get for your setup um obviously uh i'm gonna walk through the setup a little well i think if i well, haven't already walked through that setup uh, just to go through it one more time. Uh, what we're looking at here is the available tests that's, uh, uh, that you can participate in. Um, and then, all right guys, this is the completed test uh, section of my uh, user testing profile. Uh, as you can see, I've completed six tests and uh, so far I've been paid for, f actually five of them are accepted. So I got paid for two of them and I'm just waiting for the other $30 to be added uh, seven days after the test has been taken. Um, as you can also see, my first ever um, test was actually voided um, because there was a technical issue where I was using two monitors and the user testing app was recording my monitors that did not have the testing page on it. Um, so, but there was my first ever test, so they were kind enough to say that my voice was good enough, but there was a technical issue, so please make sure the issues are handled the next time, and then uh, give me a four star, uh, and not completely take my chances of, uh, uh, you know, getting qualified for another test. So that was kind of really nice of them. Um, I've not seen the same happen on other platforms that I recommended. I will share with that information in the, um, online side hustles uh, video that I've made previously. It's in the description or pop up over here. You can check it out after this video. Uh, and uh, my profile and uh, my messages um, and help center. Um, obviously, I would recommend going through the help center before you start off if you're the first time and whatnot. So as you can see in the available test, this is for uh, Firefox. Um, to me, since I've taken a couple of tests um, and uh, I've been able to sort of um, figure out a few, you know, um, catches and whatnot, um, and been able to increase my tests to 50 uh, right now. Um, if I want, I can take about 50 tests. Uh, see, uh, let, let me clarify that. If I want, I can sc get screened for 50 tests. Um, they all range from $10 to $30 to uh, $60 or uh, $90. Um, as you can see, some of these require Chrome. Uh, some of these tests I can actually take um, through um, a mobile and I've got 50 tests on mobile and other, um, I'd say uh, um, pretty reasonable amount. So I, right now I think I'm capped at 50. I'm assuming the more I take, the more it'll be releasing, so to speak. Um, there are three amounts for the tests. 
Uh, first one is the basic $10 test. Actually, no, the first one is $4 test. It's for, it takes four minutes, so um, actually five minutes, and then you get paid $4 if you qualify for the test and you take the test and you're good to go and whatnot. Uh, and next comes $10 test. Um, it could be you through your computer or your mobile, um, and um, they could be just a screen share or they could be, um, you know, like a live conversation over here. Um, so those are for $30 tests, it's 30 minutes. Once you qualify for it, uh, you take a screener. And if you're good to go, this, this they arrange a time and you, you can take that um, testing with them. Another one is the $60 one, uh, like this one, same kind. Most of the 30 and 60 and 90 are live conversations. You spend, a, you know, 60 minutes with that person or the company or whatever they're trying to do. Um, they'll give you scenarios and you, you walk them through and whatnot. Um, and then I think the highest I've seen so far is the $90 one. Um, and again, different um, users, different devices, different uh, operating systems. You get all kinds of tests. As you saw, um, my test went down to 47. Uh, that means some of these tests are, are limited to certain people. Uh, so as soon as you see it, I would recommend grabbing it. Uh, so let me go to Chrome really quick. Uh, Chrome, as you saw, um, this is a $90 test. Um, I'm going to try to uh, go through the screening process right now. Um, again, over here, so basically they're asking how many company, you know, uh, what kind of company I work for, how many um, uh, employees are in my company, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I'm going to see, mm, it's a definitely a B2. Actually, it's both. So there you go. Um, I didn't qualify for it. Uh, just like that, 90 bucks test is gone. Uh, I got to go through the list of 45 more tests over here. Um, see if I can qualify one for one of these is uh, make sure you fill out all of your information um, to the max. Um, and when you go to when you first sign up, make sure your your, your all of this information is up to date. Uh, give yourself as much opportunity as possible um you know you could be from you know any kind of web browser to any of the social networks uh web expertise um whatever languages and make sure your devices that you own are to as diverse as possible because the more diverse your devices are um more opportunities you get so when i first signed up i didn't have all these filled out i just had maybe like five or ten uh, things like, for example, my name, then my year, my income. Uh, I didn't even pull out my employee status. Um, and then I had Firefox, and that's about it. And then maybe web expertise. Um, I didn't fill out my social, I didn't fill out my gaming genres. Um, English was just normal. Um, and then when it came to devices, I just picked Mac and my Android phone, and that's it. Um, and I was getting maybe 10 tests a day. Uh, which was frustrating. So I looked through around and people recommended fill it as much as possible and I filled it as much as I can and I also actually uh, I'm getting an iPhone from my brother see uh, what kind of tests they get um, and um, Right now I get about 40 tests or 50 tests um, a day to screen for uh, once uh, And again, I've spent about probably about three or four hours so far just screening and it's kind of frustrating if you're actually gonna give it a shot like a you know full time not full time but at least if you have a lot of time on your hands uh, maybe it's you know your scenario may be different uh, because screening is specific to that person so um, let's say I'm gonna take the screener right now for ten dollars are you a social media content creator I'm just gonna say yes um, which social media content you say Instagram Facebook YouTube Mm, Twitter, personal blog, that's about it. So, bam, I didn't qualify. So I just spent about 10 seconds, I didn't qualify. So imagine doing that with 50 times. It's just a little bit frustrating. Um, that's where the problem comes in with this uh, particular um, user testing. So I'm gonna continue doing it. And, and my goal is to do five hours a week right now, um, see how much and then with the next uh, month and a half, three months, I'm going to post back another video um, on uh, user testing and we'll see where it goes from and uh, how my experience has been so far. So the payment method that user testing uses is through PayPal. So it's pretty easy to set up and the transition is pretty seamless. Uh, so you guys are good to go on that. 
Um, what's next? Um, testing it for next five hours a week for four weeks is my next goal. Um, so we give them a proper, you know, attention that it deserves and see what kind of results we come out of it um, and see how much money we make out of it. Uh, next thing you know is to see what kind of uh, changes are happening to my account, meaning if I'm getting better, uh, higher payouts through reviews um, because of the higher reviews or lower reviews, um, what kind of uh, throttling they're using um, and what kind of uh, tiers, meaning if I'm capping out at 50, use, 50 uh, uh, tests a day or is it going to be more than that? Um, those are the changes I'm going to be monitoring and uh, um, as well as compared to the competitors uh, who are in the same industry. Um, I spoke about the competitors such as Appin, Try My UI, uh, and another one uh, in my uh, side hustle video. Um, definitely check it out um, and I'm going to be reporting uh, on that. So if you got any value out of this, uh, definitely do uh, hit that like button. And uh, if you want to um, get more um, feedbacks or actually see what's happening with this case study, then definitely subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified as soon as the videos are dropped. Uh, thanks and have a great one.